Well, I hate to tell you guys this, but your stock and even modded Coyote powered F-150 is not as fast as it could be. Now that's because Ford tuned them for the daily commute, which is obviously no bueno when you want to go fast. So if you want to unleash your 11, 14, 5 liter without actually turning any wrenches and you want to do it affordably, Super Chips Flash Pack F5 Tuner is the ticket. Now installing this guy and its tunes is very easy. So it gets a very soft one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter, and you should be able to burn up your tires in about 20 minutes worth of button pressing. Now we are all here for the numbers, right? So we threw our stock F-150 on the dyno, and we got some baseline runs using 87 octane, which you can see on our dyno graph here. Then we loaded up the performance tune that comes on the F5 and we ran her again. Now taking a look at the graph, you can see some pretty nice peak and curve gains. Now those curve gains are nice because that's what you'll really feel when you're cruising around town and mashing on the throttle at every green light. Now, what's nice about all this is that the tuner will also firm up gear changes, it'll modify shift points, and it'll make adjustments to timing, air to fuel, and throttle response. Now, it basically makes your truck feel the way that it should have from day one by combining all these changes. Now, this is just a device, and we're not changing out any actual parts, I get that. But I can speak from personal experience since I actually have a 93 octane tune on my three valve Mustang. I can say that it really does make a pretty big difference. And keep in mind, if all out power is not for you, the Flash Pack does come with towing and economy tunes to make those camping trips and daily commutes a little easier. But the Flash Pack is not just about tunes and numbers. It also has some useful features, which includes a 2.8 inch display, as well as plenty of gauges to monitor your engine, and it can read and clear trouble codes for some driveway diagnostics. Now, I've actually used my tuner to chase problems with my car, and that included spark plugs and O2 sensors, so this diagnostic stuff can really save you some money by figuring out things on your own. Now, the Flash Pack also updates using Wi-Fi, so as updates come out for the tunes and reading codes, your tuner can stay up to date too. Now, I personally like the Flash Pack F5 a lot because of its price compared to its features. Most tuners start at $400 and they go up from there, but the Flash Pack is only $350 at the moment. Now, while it doesn't hold any custom tunes, it is a lot more affordable than the ones that do, and it's still a nice way to get a pretty big bump in power on your stock or modded F-150. Now, operating the F-5 and getting those tunes loaded is very easy. It should take you less than 20 minutes. So again, this gets one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter because of that. Now, let's head over to our install bay and we'll go over to that truck and I'll show you guys how to work this device. Okay guys, so we're here with our truck on the dyno. Behind me is our 2013 F-150, our five liter of course. And before we actually tune the truck, I'm gonna show you how the Super Chips works. We're gonna go over all the settings on the device so we can show you how to use it to your full potential. So like I said earlier, getting the device started is very simple. It's just a matter of plugging it into the truck and putting the keys in the ignition. So I'll show you how to do that now. Now there's your OBD2 uh, port down here underneath the steering column. All you have to do is take this connector on the Super Chips and plug it in. Okay, so once you have the device plugged in and you have your keys and your ignition set to on, the tuner will turn on automatically. It's gonna to come to the screen for tunes. That's gonna be your home screen, if you will. Before we get into the tunes themselves, we're gonna go over some of the device's features and info. So you're gonna use this little navigation pane here, your arrows up, down, left, right, to navigate through all the menus. And we will check out our scanning as well as our gauges first. So. Again, select your scan, click OK. The first option is gonna be reading and clearing your diagnostic trouble codes. Basically, if you have a check engine light, the tuner is gonna show you what the issue is and you can even clear the code so you can make that annoying light go away. To do that, click OK. If you do have a check engine light, you're gonna click OK again for read DTCs and that's gonna read all those trouble codes. If you actually have some, they would show up on this screen, but since our truck is fine, we don't have any issues, we don't have any right now. Once you've confirmed your codes, go ahead and click OK to continue, and it'll give you descriptions of what those codes are if you do have any. Once you've figured out what your code is, 
and you want to get rid of it, just click Clear DTCs. The device will take a second, it will tell you it's successfully cleared them, and that light should go away. Now keep in mind, once you start driving your truck, if the issue remains, you might have that little light pop back up. Just keep that in mind. To go back, just click the left arrow. We're gonna check out our gauges and our data logging. This is a really nice feature because this is gonna show you how you can track all of your engine's vitals, including things like throttle position, timing, air to fuel, uh, MPGs, and a bunch of other goodies. So you can select up to eight gauges. The device calls them PIDs, but they are gauges. Go ahead and click OK, and you can select the eight gauges that you wanna display while you're driving. So we can check our intake temperature, we can check our mass airflow, and we can check the voltage slash hertz of the mass airflow sensor. That's good for troubleshooting if you have any issues with that. Once you select the gauge in question, it'll turn red, as you can see on either side, and then you can click back, and you can go through all of your other gauges. Now, we're not gonna get into too much detail about what each gauge provides. There's actually a book inside the packaging for the Super Chips, and it will describe to you what each gauge does. We'll just select a couple just to show you how they work. Now, once you've selected eight gauges, it's gonna pop up with this little screen. It's gonna tell you that if you click OK, it's gonna start data logging. It's gonna load all of your gauges, and it's gonna display all the information that you selected in real time. So even though our truck is off, you can see that we're still getting an air temperature, and we're still getting our volts for our ECU, as well as some other of the uh, gauges that we selected. Now, when you're done viewing those gauges, you're gonna wanna click the left arrow. That's gonna take you back. And you can go back through and you can select any other gauges at any time. Now, obviously, I recommend you be safe and you do this while you're parked and not driving. Battery voltage, pretty self-explanatory. That's the next option on our scanning and diagnostics. And that's just gonna pull your battery voltage whether the vehicle's on or off. Um, if your vehicle's off, a good range is 12 to 13. And if your vehicle's on and running, a good range is 13 and a half to 15 volts for a stock setup. Now we're gonna go back and we're actually gonna go over some of the device info. So once you're back on your home screen, just go ahead and click right until you hit info. Go ahead and click okay. It's gonna bring up vehicle info and device info. Vehicle info is useful because if you haven't touched the Super Chips in a while, it will actually tell you if you're running a tune right now, it'll also give you your VIN and it'll give any vehicle files contained in the ECU. Device info is pretty self-explanatory. It tells you the, what the info is about the device itself. And this includes some of your software information and what version of the software you're currently running on the Super Chips. All right, next is the fun part. This is the part that everybody wants to get right into, and that's tuning. Now, to tune the vehicle, you wanna make sure your ignition is off, but in the on position. Once you click tune, it's gonna start communicating with your truck. Now, first time users, that's gonna take a couple of minutes. For us, it took about four to five minutes, but since our device is officially synced up with our vehicle, it only takes us a couple seconds. Once you have connected and the vehicle is reading off of the super chips, you can actually select one of the available tunes. As you can see from the menu here, we have our performance tune, we have a heavy towing, we have a base 87 octane tune, and we have our economy tune, and super chips calls it their mileage XS save tune, but basically it's gonna help you get some better MPGs on the highway. Now, we obviously all know what we want most, and that is our performance tune, so we're gonna go ahead and loan the tune on our vehicle. Now, it's very important that you read this here. The performance tune is designed for towing or hauling up to 6,000 pounds, and more importantly, 91 octane fuel is required. Now, if you install this tune and you run 87 octane and you start getting on it, you could get some knocking, some misfires, and even some detonation. That could cause problems for your engine, so we want to make sure we are running 91 octane fuel at the minimum. You can run higher octane fuel, that won't hurt it, but you should not run below 91 octane. Once you've read that and you've confirmed it, go ahead and click OK. And the Super Chips is going to do all the work for you. It's going to make sure that the tune file is up to date. It's going to ask you if you want to customize any options in the tune. We're just going to go off of the base file, so we're going to go ahead and hit the left arrow for no. And now the Super Chips is building the tuning file. 
Once it builds the file, it's gonna prompt you to load the tune on the vehicle. Now, once it's done building the file, it's gonna ask that you confirm you want to load the file on the vehicle. Go ahead and press OK. And then follow the instructions on screen. So we're gonna turn our ignition off. And we're gonna click OK. Okay, once it's prompt us, we're gonna turn our ignition on. Do not actually start the vehicle, just turn it to the on position. Press OK when completed. Now the tune is actually loading itself onto the vehicle. Your gauges might do some crazy stuff, that's okay, that's normal. You might hear a bunch of beeping, that's normal too. It's gonna to take a couple minutes and once it's done, we're gonna continue following the on-screen instructions. Okay, now that the tune's loaded on the vehicle, we're gonna turn our ignition off and press okay to continue. Go ahead and turn it on again. And again, press okay. And once the tune file is installed, you should he hear a nice little chime in there. It's gonna tell you that everything worked okay. And you're all set.